by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. The European Space Agency's Rosetta mission to the Comet 67P may be rewriting everything astronomers thought they knew about the nature of comets. The latest high-resolution images of the comet nucleus have astonished scientists around the world, revealing a remarkably jagged, pitted, black-as-coal surface. It is nothing like the so-called dirty snowball or fluffy ice ball that mainstream astronomers have long envisioned. Most astonishingly, scientists have reported they have not found a single trace of water ice on the comet's surface. Scientists reported the surprising discovery that the comet was producing unexpected amounts of water while still a vast distance from the sun. NASA scientist Sam Golkis stated in June, We always knew we would see water vapor outgassing from the comet, but we were surprised at how early we detected it. But the comet's surface is, in the words of mission scientist Holger Sierks, dry like hell. In forthcoming episodes, we will analyze the evidence that electrochemical processes are producing the detected water signature in the comet's coma. The Electric Universe theory as developed by Wall Thornhill has stated for decades that comets are not primordial aggregates of ices and interstellar dust. Comets, asteroids, and meteors were machined electrically from planetary surfaces in a relatively recent epoch of planetary instability. It is therefore no coincidence that the surface of Comet 67P bears no resemblance to a dirty snowball, but rather, its rocky, jagged, and utterly dry terrain looks more like a canyon in Death Valley, or the surface of the moon. The comet's seemingly bizarre shape is also a major anomaly to mainstream scientists. A report on Space.com reads, Comet 67P CG doesn't look like anything scientists expected to find. Instead of finding a round, icy body, Rosetta was greeted by an odd, rubber ducky-shaped comet. The comet appears to have two lobes, a head and a larger body connected by a relatively thin neck. But the comet's form is no surprise to proponents of the electric universe. As explained in previous videos, plasma scientist C.J. Ransom replicated this form in the laboratory, applying an electrical discharge to a mineral surface. The Rosetta mission is only the most recent in a seemingly endless string of astonishing comet discoveries. But the discoveries seem to have had no influence on the direction of the theoretical sciences. In November, the Rosetta team will fire ice harpoons in an attempt to land a probe on the comet's rocky and barren nucleus. Ice harpoons, for a body that looks less like a fluffy ice ball than a dry rock from the Grand Canyon. As previously discussed on this series, Space News from the Electric Universe, astronomers have now acknowledged that the standard theory of planet formation and the so-called early solar system has failed, and a new theory is required. Yet the very name of the Rosetta mission reveals that scientists still believe that comets are Rosetta stones, tracing back to the solar system's formation. We must ask the question, how can this theory remain unchallenged in the light of such profound, disconfirming evidence? What will happen if institutional science is finally willing to test the electric universe theory of comets and comet origins? Our understanding of our solar system and of human history may be forever changed. Stay tuned for continuous updates and analysis on the Rosetta team's latest findings in forthcoming episodes of Space News from the Electric Universe.